Okay, so I'm going to do a little um, narrative video on my garden that I have been working on. Um, this stone was at my daughter's, um, my late daughter's memorial service. Um, she had to be cremated because, um, anyway, she just did. Um, sunflowers were her birth flower, so I found these flowers at Hobby Lobby and put them in the ground behind the stone that was at the front of the church at her memorial service and it's uh, weathered pretty well it'll be two years in July so it's done pretty well um, the little peace sign right there is really cute um, I got it today at a farmers market a guy was selling them I think he made them himself obviously he might made them himself it was only five dollars anyway and I I just buy things like oh that little fairy girl right there and then at night all the lights light up they're kind of multicolor, technicolor. They're really cool. Um, over here, this piece here, and you can't hardly even see it. I have to lift the flowers up <laughs> so you can see it. Um, it's actually um, a Buddha head made by a prominent uh, artist. And my family members bought it for me at an art show. And then those are artificial flowers that I put in it. But anyway, it turned out really nice. And then butterflies that I buy at Family Dollar, they're like $3 or $5 or something like that. Really inexpensive, but they're pretty and they're bright and colorful. And then all of my hostas, I just um, planted this new pot today. Some kind of a rose begonia and um, kind of a drippy, um, plant that's going to have some little tiny white flowers on it. It's kind of pretty. Then um, just more hostas. They're really getting big and I need to separate them. More like that one. Um, <laughs> I bought a couple of flamingos at Walmart. Or excuse me, Menards. Save big money at Menards plus you get 11% rebate. And this was a potted plant that I bought at Walmart for $17.99, but it's really pretty. Impatience. Really beautiful color. And then I bought this little bird bath, which is also a sunflower. Um, it kind of hangs by chains. And I got this crook at Menards for $9.99 and I think that's cool and then over here just my green bird that has rust on his tail not sure what to do with that probably use it one more season and throw it away and then over here these are succulents more succulents succulents um, that's the giant mother plant plant there that's not really taking off very well. I don't know what's the matter with it, but I tried to fluff it up today and put some new potting soil in there. This is the grave site of um, a baby bunny, a tiny bunny that was my daughter's, and he, I don't know, she had him for a couple years, and she called me one night, obviously when she was still alive, and said that he was gasping for air and she didn't know what to do and then we hung up and then she called me back probably 15 minutes later and said he died so she put him in a pampers box and brought him and put him in my fr deep freeze and we were always going to bury him um, together but she lost her life before we had a chance to do that so it took me a while over a year after she lost her life but I did finally bury him and I buy these little um, figurines and everything to put by him. I bought that little little angel thing right there. Her little fairy climbing a ladder to heaven. But again, uh, really nice. They light up at night. Multicolor is really cool. Um, another potted plant. Not sure if it's going to take off or not, but anyway. Oh, and this little rose bush. Little tiny rose bush. 
my granddaughter's father bought her two of them and we planted them out here that one there and one maybe over here the other one never did grow this one grows every year comes up every year and last year it had the first bloom that it's ever had ever and uh, I look forward to it blooming again but when it bloomed I cried and cried and cried because I just felt it was some kind of a sign but it probably was more related to the fact that I put a Job's rose um, plant food spike in it <laughs> which I've done again this year and I put a little sunflower there a little metal sunflower so anyway that's my uh, garden and uh, I love it so much and it's so pretty and you know I hope no one's mean and does anything to it or anything like that huh. because I have had a lot of relief you know working on it and getting it the way it is um, that's nothing that's just my watering area and then this is the front of my house little peace sign and I fly uh, a POW MIA flag out of respect to my Vietnam veterans on this Memorial Day and I got a couple pots over here and my little bushes one bush there and my little pots little pots and another little bush there so anyway that's about all just my humble abode it's where I live in my sadness and um, that's all I can say about that but anyway thanks for watching it's supposed to start raining pretty soon so just wanted to shoot this quick before it rained thank you for viewing and uh, happy Memorial Day to everyone my blessings to everyone Goodbye for now.